Welcome to Sun Wukong vs. Robot. Your stay may be short, but it will be one hell of a ride. Developed by Bitka and released in January 2019, Sun Wukong vs. Robot is a mini retro pixel Metroidvania game. Their words, not mine. In this game, you take the role of Sun Wukong, who after facing defeat by four robot masters, awakens 500 years to find himself trapped in a mechanical maze. With the mind locker on his head preventing his escape, Sun Wukong must now scour the mechanical maze to reclaim his lost powers and defeat the robot masters in order to break free of the machine's trap. The story is practically non-existent, but I'm willing to forgive it here seeing as the gameplay is clearly the main focus. The game is meant to just have some mindless fun with, and in that aspect, it works great. Sun Wukong controls very fluently, and as a result, I rarely experienced any deaths that felt beyond my control. Your main method of attacking is your staff, but there's also a set of skills you can use in exchange for mana if you can find them, including eye lasers, a gourd that shoots green flames, or even just a barrage of monkeys. Defeating enemies nets you experience points which you can use to purchase passive abilities like Lava Immunity and Enhanced Attack, some more direct powers like a dash, triple jump, and a shield that converts projectiles into mana, or you can just use your XP to restore your health and magic. However, there's just one tiny little thing that fans of this genre might take issue with, and that's the game's length. To compare the map of this game to something like Castlevania Symphony of the Night would be like comparing a Sunday stroll to a hike up Everest, and it's likely because of this that the game has several features that highly encourage multiple playthroughs, such as power-ups that can only be obtained after defeating the bosses in a specific order, timers that keep track of both your total playtime and boss times to urge the player into speedrunning the game, and just the standard Steam achievements. It should also be noted that you can obtain some of the before-mentioned skills by defeating the bosses, and each boss always drops the same ability per playthrough. So while this could add to the replay value of speedruns, I've also seen some arguments that this feels irrelevant since you can easily buy them all for your XP, so your mileage may vary depending on how you play these types of games. But to top all of this off is the game's incredible use of pixel art and sprite animations making every location stand out from each other. The enemies telegraph their attacks very well, and it's easy to tell what most of them do just from a glance, making the overall experience just that much more enjoyable. Sun Wukong vs. Robot is available for the PC, Mac, iOS, and Android devices, ranging just under $4 in most currencies. The absolute cheapest I could find was the iOS version, but I can't speak for this version personally. And if you're still unsure about this game, you can download a demo from the game's Itch.io page. While the game might not have as much meat in it as most of its genre, if you're looking for something on the cheap and you're a fan of action-packed Metroidvanias, then Sun Wukong vs. Robot might just be the game for you.